What is going on, guys? It is your girl, Janiqua A, and I am back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you, and I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. All right, so I just jumped up in my seat and really, really put myself in position to get comfortable. Y'all about to get comfortable. Y'all ready. Y'all like, y'all get in position. Like, whatever y'all being planted, whatever y'all being seated, all right, you getting comfortable. All right, somebody being comfortable, somebody getting comfortable with you. Okay, let me see why the fuck this shit is going down. Let me see, let me, let me pick you back up. Somebody's about to lift your head back up. Somebody's about to lift you back up. You was tipping over a little bit, okay? Somebody about to lift you up. You hear me? Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> what y'all got going on? Archangel Michael and Allegua, please protect me. Protect my mind, my body, and my spirit. Clear all my chakras as we tap in to the most important messages surrounding the collectives. Something could have happened around October. Somebody's birthday could be in October. Um, you could have got with somebody in October. But this is Halloween type of energy. Somebody could have had something. Or something could be very significant about Halloween. Or about the days leading up to Halloween. Alright, so let's tap in. Ooh. Y'all, this is... This is future energy. All right, somebody has been getting readings done. All right, somebody has been trying to see beyond their current situation. Or somebody has been trying to look into your future. I'm hearing birth chart. All right, stop stop telling people what fucking sign or you stop posting your birth chart. <laughs> and then you wonder why every spell work is, is attacking you or why the enemy is easily able to penetrate your energy. Stop posting these things. All right. I'm getting a strong energy where somebody's been going to somebody or somebody's been looking up something to kind of like see what you got going on in your future. Like they want to know what you got going on planned. What's coming towards you. What they should be expecting about you. For some of you guys, you could be a tarot card reader. This could be people coming to you. If you are a tarot card reader or a psychic or a medium or somebody that can see beyond people's current situation and see what's about to unfold, your numbers is about to go up. <laughs> You're about to get mad people coming to you. All right. And I'm being told to tell you all money ain't good money, baby. Just because you have the gift of being a sorcerer, just because you have the gift of being a high priestess, being able to see past and beyond people's current situations, does not mean you're supposed to read everybody because everybody's intentions is not well. Some people literally just want to spy on others through readers so that way they could block something or that way they could know what's to come so that way they could interfere with something. I'm hearing cross watcher. Stop allowing people to know so much about your North Node and your astrology. I'm getting something about astrology. Like they, somebody want to look into your future. All right. I'm also seeing that your money is protected. If you do some type of work connecting with the spiritual realm, connecting with your gods, being a medium, but being a medium between heaven and earth, your money is protected. Okay. You have a form of protection, divine protection around you. All right. I'm also picking up twin flame energy. All right. And y'all must remember there's a big, I'm not going to go into it, but there's a difference between twin flame and soulmate. All right, twin flames is what I'm seeing is, is, is when you meet your twin flame, y'all going to learn stuff about yourself. Y'all going to learn self-love. Y'all going to learn self, self-love, self-care, um, setting boundaries. That is what your twin flame teaches you. It teaches you how to love yourself, how to respect yourself. How to put yourself on a pedestal. How to validate your feelings. Okay? This is twin flame energy. For some of you guys, somebody's been getting reading done on you and your twin flame or trying to figure out who your twin flame or who you dating. 
All right, it's a whole lot of spying and scrying here. Spirit, give me more on this energy, please. Thank you. And then if y'all look at my last reading, it's somebody that's trying to figure out how they could get in contact with you to like get some type of information that they want to find out. But a lot of your stuff is private. All right, so they could literally be going to the last result and like really getting a reading done on you. All right, and that's why I'm being cool. If you are a reader, you know, you are intuitive, right? And you know when somebody's intentions is not right. Okay, so this is when you being tested, okay? Yeah, a witch, exactly. All right, this person is a monitoring spirit. Don't don't read this person, uh-uh. Because -uh. all, they, all they gonna do is go back and your ancestors is watching you. When you see a red robin, all right, your ancestors is watching you. Let me tell you, there's a little witch, all right? This is not a good witch. This is somebody that conjures up fucking warfare and send spiritual warfare towards people after knowing what's about to unfold okay this person has been a monitoring spirit all right this person is a monitoring spirit they are sent from the underworld to monitor divine beings all right to get readings done to trick to persuade to manipulate all right for some of you guys this is this is a false spiritualist for some of you guys this could be a a tarot reader that is really just getting people's money for the wrong intentions, all right? Being a monitoring spirit, like somebody paying a reader to like monitor somebody else and tell them all the information is what I'm getting, all right? This is definitely like a spiritualist that is that is doing everything for the wrong things and in it for the wrong reasons, being a monitoring spirit. For some of you guys, the karma that this person has been receiving is loss of weight. This person has been getting real skinny. For some of you guys, this person's teeth has been falling out. Or they've been getting dreams about teeth falling out. That's death. All right? There's something about this person. They've been getting headaches too. It's because they're intentionally sending warfare to people by spying on people's future, on people's birth chart, shit like that. You know, just as well, there's our good witches, there are bad witches. It's just going to be like that. It's good and bad, even when fucking good. It's, just, it's polarities. All right? This is a monitoring spirit that you should not read. Or this is a reader that has been doing things for the wrong intentions, taking people money and just monitoring other people for the wrong reasons. All right? Waving and causing a lot of fire in people's lives. Uh, waving a lot of spiritual warfare. And they intentionally do it. They intentionally conjure up this they intentionally like adding fire to the flame is what i'm hearing they intentionally like to add drama and tension to people's relationship this is not a solution finder this is not a problem solver this is a problem maker all right this is a witch a very dark one a monitoring spirit that came from the underworld to do nobody no good you hear me and they're very good at manipulating. They're very good at conjuring up something to where you believe them. You got to be very smart with this person. If you are a reader, you already know how this person's coming. And that's why they probably getting skinny. For some of you guys, you already seen or felt this witch coming. All right? There was a witch. All right? There was a, a cultist. There was a... There was somebody from a coven. There was a there was a, a worker. Uh, I'm, I'm hearing a voodoo priest. Damn. I'm hearing a voodoo priest. All right, but you seen them way before they started to come in and you started to do the work before them. <laughs> so any spiritual warfare, like you're equipped to engage in spiritual warfare is what I'm getting. All right. This person was a monitoring spirit. All right, you felt them. And the repercussions of this person's actions by waving spiritual warfare on couples, on other readers, on other spiritualists, all right, completely disrespecting the code and the law of this shit. You hear me? Solicitating themselves in a spiritual community, broken so many spiritual laws, is death. And remember, y'all don't see that Pluto, like Pluto is here, right? You don't see a lot of people dying. 
You don't see a lot of people getting sick. You don't see a lot of people just dropping dead. Like God's done. God is done with these people. So this is a person that their, their witchery acts, their conjuring acts, their deceitful acts, them breaking so much spiritual laws and the codes of the shit, abusing their power, spying, spying deeply into people's astrology to know when to know when to wave the spiritual warfare. They're getting so sick. They're getting skinny. You hear me? They're deteriorating. Like, that's the payment. Thank you. Damn, y'all. Spirit just said it would have been too easy for them to die. It would have been too easy for them to go. Spirit is making somebody be unalive slow. Deteriorating. Mentally. Spiritually. Emotionally. Financially. Physically. Everything. They're deteriorating. They're becoming a skeleton. For some of you guys, they might have some sort of sickness to where it's eating their cells or it's eating their body away. Where they're not able to even hold no nutrients. Their strength is depleting. They're becoming a skeleton. They have no more strength. All right. They've been strength, stripped of their strength. They're weak. This person is weak now. They don't have the strength no more. You started to tap in. You start to describe, you start to see this person, you start to feel this person, you start to connect with this person. I mean, you start to connect with this, your ancestors. All right, this person's strength. I'm being focused, to, I'm being caught to focus on that. They're becoming a skeleton. Somebody's losing drastic weight, drastically. You know when somebody's skinny and you know when somebody's healthy. Damn. Yeah, there's a whole, this, this, somebody, this is your ancestors. All right, this is your ancestors. Ooh. Somebody been mischievous. There's a couple here. Okay, there's a couple, but this red robin, you probably been, been seeing different type of birds. All right, your ancestors is on this person's ass. <laughs> you hear me? Your ancestors is on this person's ass. There's a lot of divine messages coming to you at night. Shit could be happening to you at night. It's like a lot of paranormal fucking activities. You hear me? I'm hearing don't be scared. Ain't nothing to fear. Your ancestors is here. That's what I'm hearing. You hear me? You might be getting a lot of spiritual messages and activities. Light flicking off and on. Shit start hearing something. You getting birds tapping at your window. You seeing different birds. Okay? I literally been seeing a falcon. That's your ancestors telling you we got this in a bag. You don't have to worry about this witch no more. They are back. I'm hearing they got sent back to hell where they came from. All right. Wow. Wow. Y'all. <laughs> wow. I'd be lost for words with these cards. Ooh, the skull of light. Exactly. You were too skilled for this shit. Do you see that skull? Look at the skull. Look at the two, two different. Look at this one being depleted of strength. And look at this one gaining. All right? Your light was irritating a demons. All right? You are too much of light. All right? You are a light being. You are illumination. You have illuminated something here. You've illuminated their secrets. You have illuminated their deeds. You illuminated their acts and their plans. All right? You have disrupted the enemy's plans. And now they're caught and being held accountable for their actions. And it's not too good. You are the, child, you are the skull of light. You have entered a portal of manifestation. Of your dreams coming true. All right. You brought a lot of shit to light. You hear me? By your wisdom. By your authority. By your ability to be in a very powerful warrior and equipped to engage in a spiritual warfare. All right? You are a beast. I'm hearing this shit was practice for you. Damn. <laughs> I'm hearing this shit was practice for you. You hear me? This person is getting skinny while you getting stronger. Mentally, physically, emotionally. All right? This person was living too much in the flesh and now their flesh, I'm hearing something about their flesh is being eaten alive. They, they don't look the same. This person don't look healthy at all. They're deteriorating. Yeah. While you transform in death. All right. The eternal cycle begins here. You got eternal life. 
this person tried to end you and didn't realize you can't be ended. You have internal life. You are an internal being. All right? You would always say they try to end your work with this worker bee. They didn't know you were the queen bee. They try to end your authority when it comes to certain things are unfolding. They didn't know that you were the medium between heaven and earth. You were the messenger between the astral realm and here. You were the divine God or goddess. All right? Here to re relay messages. Very important ones. Straight from source, baby. Your work is solidified. You have ascended. You're moving on to the next chapter. And when once when something dies, something always get born again. That's just life. You've learned the cycle of life. Okay? You have ascended. Everything that was hidden from you has been illuminated. Everything, every decision that has been robbed from you because of people holding things back from you. Very important information. All right? Everything has came to light. And you are able to move and act accordingly. All right? Ascending. All right? These people try to end you. You got eternal life. Okay? And that's why your ancestors came. Like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Do the work. Do the work. That's what your ancestors... Come on, do the work. Come on. Come on, high priest, priest. Come on. This witch is, is, is bugging the fuck out. You hear me? Get the work. Get the work so we can handle this. You hear me? So we can handle this. And baby, the shit is handled. They, they don't even have no strength to, to compete with you. They have no strength to do spell work. The spell work that ain't them up whole. You hear me? It's something wrong with their flesh. I'm hearing white blood cells, red blood cells. It's eating them from the inside out. They not right within. Damn. Damn. Whoo, child. These, I yo, I love tarot. This should be too real. All right, so spirit, give me more on this witch. Ooh! Child, the witch is a comic. They was trying to force this man to say there's a divorce. Somebody is bitter because somebody is finally out the door. There's a masculine that is walking out the door. They have been dealing with this probably for 10 years, 10 months. There's a decision for 10 motherfucking weeks, but they, the decision is to walk out the door and finally close out that cycle and leave that contract and terminate it for good. Okay? They've been focused and it is up and it is stuck. And this is somebody's Damn, for some of you guys, this man is walking straight into an opportunity. Remember, when you leave one door, another one opens. But it's up to you to see it that way. It's up to you to realize what is actually death to you. Is death, is, is death really gone forever? Or is death transition? Is death transformation? Is death preparing for new and better? So this man done released his fear and said, you know what? I'm going to stand on what I feel. Even if I don't know the outcome, I'm going to trust myself. And they done whooped. But see, when you trust in yourself and when you let go and you let God, God right here, ace of fucking pinnacles. You hear me? Leaving one situation and walking right into a motherfucking blessing. And that's because of the spell work. That's because of the switch. This person getting readings done. This person doing all types of shit. Getting skinny. All right, depleting themselves. All right, you've got the page of pentacles here. All right, this could be a, a brand new start, a brand new chapter. All right, a brand new family. All right, but this is not where it's at. This is what's going on. This is somebody getting skinny over here, worried about the wrong motherfucking things. This could be somebody's um, child's mother or father. But it's over. Father wants energy. It's over, y'all. It is over. You hear me? It's over because you know why? Look, they don't have no time for a man right now. They don't have no time for materialistic shit. They got to get their mind right. Somebody feel like if they get five or six jobs, somebody going to stay. Somebody feel like if they see them making so much money, they're going to stay. And that's not the thing. All right. This person needs to balance out their personal life and their work life, their career and their family time. It's not about money all the time. It's not about having five or six jobs. It's about having time. Having love, being happy, finding joy in life. Not about the money. The money is going to come when you be happy. So this is this is over. You got the ten of wands and the ten of swords. All right? It's done. Completely. 
talking about a karmic ending. This is like them coming to the conclusion like, all right, this should not go work. I can't do this no more. Okay? And this is like solidifying that. You know what? I'm packing my shit. I'm out. It may be a little arguing because somebody don't want nobody to go. But all that's going to do is going to push somebody away. Ooh, it may look like somebody got another family with somebody that is spicy. Or this could be somebody that they even want to have a family with. Or somebody is just, they want to have fun in life. <laughs> okay. Um, Spirit, what's for closing out messages? This was a good reading. I'm going to use these cards more. Those cards. All right, this is in my, all right, so wait, before I even get into anything, you know, I got to break this down. All right, so this is going on. There's a transition here. All right, there's definitely a divorce or a final breakup, an irreconcilable final breakup and divorce happening where the relationship, there was no time. There was no balance. There was no personal life. There was no commit. There was nothing. Everybody was being overworked, undisturbed, un unvalued, unfulfilled. Too much going on here. All right, and a final decision that has been made was to leave exit all right this definitely could be somebody you got a child with okay um but somebody chose to bet on themselves and trust the divine whether you the masculine or the feminine both of y'all are being told intuitively intuitively whether you got a reading done well somebody is telling you god sending you the messages that you gotta leave when you do not listen to those messages you do not receive the blessing because you're too scared. You're leaning on your own understanding. This person chose to make a big commitment to themselves to say, I'm not staying in an unfulfilled relationship. I am divorcing this. This has been going on for too long. And when they did that, God said, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Somebody not living in fear. Somebody not living in guilt. Somebody forgiving themselves and moving the fuck on and, just, and realizing they deserve their happiness. God loves that. God, God don't like that. you like, oh, I cheated before. Or I got cheated on. Oh, God wants you to stand for God. And this man divorcing this and letting bygones be bygones and walking out the door has landed them a brand new thing. We don't know. This could be a new relationship, a new job, a new resource to get them back where they need to be after closing out this cycle. You hear me? You could be a tarot card reader. Or you could be some sort of spiritualist, all right, where there was a witch in your energy, somebody that was intentionally choosing violence. You hear me? Somebody that was intentionally waving spiritual warfare on couples, on families, on people individually, all right? That's what fueled them, causing chaos in people's life. They have abused a lot of the spiritual laws in the spiritual community. They have solicited themselves and their service in such a disrespectful way to God. All right. This is somebody that was trying to look into somebody's astrology, trying to look into somebody's twin flame relationship, trying to see what's about to unfold just to cause chaos and warfare. All right. And the results of you being 10 toes down to what your beliefs is and your intuition and what your intuition was telling you, you got the work. You got the work. Your spirit God started to tell you, tighten up. Tighten up on your spiritual practices. Tighten up on your protection. Something needs to be done. Something going on. And you started to wise up. You start to listen. All right, you start to see. You start to see what's about to unfold. You start to make the right judgment. You start to use those terror cards. Whatever the fuck you did in the form of divination, you back this person up. And the results of this person's karma is sickness and health. And as I'm saying that, look what's right here, y'all. I'm not, look, look, I'm, I'm picking up the deck. Y'all can't really see it. I'm picking up both of them. Look what's right here. Didn't I just say sickness and health? Somebody, karma is sickness and health. Mentally and physically. Emotionally and spiritually. All right? Somebody, um, physical appearance is depleting. Somebody's physical energy, their body is being eaten up from the inside out. All right. They're getting really skilly, really skinny, almost skeleton vibes. All right. Their strength. They don't have no more strength. They're getting very, very weak. All right. They're losing so much hair. For some of you guys, this could be cancer. 
but this is the karma. All right. You have been enlightened. You have ascended mind, body, and spirit. You are the skull of light. You are the medium between portals. You are the, damn, the medium between portals. Damn, you are the medium between portals, baby. You hear me? And you've ascended. You, damn, it's the zombie. They've been put to rest and they don't want to go. They don't want things to be over. All right? They trying to, I'm hearing they have a sentence of death. Damn, y'all. I heard this person got a death sentence. And they know that. Damn. This person is a zombie. This person is an energy vampire. They had to go. It was like your life or this. And you chose yours. You hear me? Unfortunately, this is all happening right now in the winter time. All right? This is death. This is the process of death. Ascending and leaving and letting things die. They try to end your work. They try to end a lot of people coming to you, but this is a new cycle starting. All right, where people know not to fuck around and find out no more. I know that. All right, but this is sickness and health. Somebody got a death sentence for fucking with you. All right, because you are the devil. For some of you guys, they try to conjure up. See, a lot of people don't know this spiritual shit. You got to be balanced in your dark and like motherfucking energy. All right, so what if they call you a devil? So what? All right. If you're not spiritually equipped to engage in spiritual warfare, if you keep thinking spell work is not real, if you keep thinking magic is not motherfucking real, you'll be swallowed up like these people. All right. They got a death sentence for fucking with you because you are a beast in spell work. And I'm going to just be real. This is that whole reading of spell work. This is whole reading of somebody that mastered intuition, seeing things before they unfold type of energy. All right, you have ancestors that's demonic as what I hear in you hear me? You tightened up on your protection. You hear me? And that's what's going on. So because of that, they got a death sentence on their hands. You hear me? And they getting really fucked all up. They getting so skinny. That's how you're going to know this is your reading. Their body from the inside out is eating them up alive because they was living too much in the flesh and not the spirit. So it's like, what good are you here if you're going to keep leaning on your own understanding? You're not listening to God. All right, so that's what I have for you guys. Damn, love y'all.